Well, and you also see this, I got in trouble for this a lot, but, but it's true, so that's life. In, in, in the Scandinavian countries, it's proved very difficult to get women into engineering and men into nursing. And as those countries have become more gender equal in their legislation and their social policies and likely their society, those differences have got bigger, not smaller. So it's, it's a stunning, well, it's a stunning I wonder what finding. You, I wonder what you would say to, to this argument, which is, okay, okay, uh, maybe you guys have a point, but the main political imperative is equality for uh, men and women. That's a political imperative. And that means that we have to sustain majorities in favor of the kinds of laws and regulations we need to achieve that. When you talk candidly and casually, as Lawrence Summers did when he was president of Harvard University, I'm sure you know the incident that I'm talking oh, yes, about. Oh, yes, I Summers, sure do. About uh, women and why there aren't so many at the top of mathematics 